Hey there, inventory planners. So this is the first of a two-part series in thinking about which forecasting method to use. So today we're gonna tackle quickly thinking through which forecasting method to use, seasonal or non-seasonal. So I think that a lot of folks who are handling forecasts using a spreadsheet or trying to figure out what their customer demand are going to be, really take a look at what's been happening recently. And that may be appropriate for a lot of products, but if there's any seasonality to your products, then I would definitely take a look at what happened last year and even the year before, so you can look at year over year growth rates. So how do you know if it's appropriate to look at seasonal items and consider them seasonal? So by seasonal, I mean items that may be tied to the calendar, so it could be tied to actual holidays. So we see this a lot with Q4 sales and retail. It could also be tied to informal seasonality such as fashion seasons, back to school season, anything that will make, for example, August sales different than July or September sales. There's something about what's happening in August, what people are doing in their lives, their purchasing patterns that's going to make it different. And that's when it's really helpful to take a look at last August and the August before rather than the most recent months and what's been happening most recently in your store. So for forecasting methods, think through, do you have seasonal products or not? And that can really affect your forecasting method.